I am extremely, extremely proud um, to be leading the ministry that has the privilege of hosting the Parliamentary Secretary for Social Innovation. It is, I think, obvious to most people that social issues and tough social issues have, have been there since the beginning of time. And governments for eternity have tried to solve those social issues by doing the same thing over and over and over again. I think it is high time that governments recognize that there are other ways to tackle these issues and that they are society's issues and therefore society business, community, and government need to work together in partnership for impact. On behalf of the uh, Council on Social Innovation, we'd like to present uh, our final report, uh, our 11 recommendations to the Minister of Social Development, the Honourable Stephanie Cadu. A guy named Graham Greene once wrote in a piece of poetry that there are those magical moments in each one of our lives when a door opens and the future walks in. And so often, I don't think we notice that the future has walked in. And in this instance, because there were so many people in British Columbia who were so cognizant and aware of the opportunities, when that future walked in, they held that door open and made sure that we all saw that, that we all understood it, we all built from it. And it, uh, I often wondered about, uh, Schopenhauer used to say that, you know, when new ideas come along, first they're ignored, then they're abused, and then they're accepted as the way things should be. I think we can now say that social innovation is to a point where it is accepted as the way those things should be. But it is just phenomenal to be here and to see uh, that what we have done over this last year, and in our little way, uh, from government's perspective, seeding, um, an opportunity for this to come together uh, is fantastic and I can't wait to see step two and step three and step four.